How did the three trains collide? Was there a tangible cause for the accident? And was it possible to prevent a catastrophe of this nature? Let's dig deeper. India's extensive rail network was built more than 160 years ago under British colonial rule. India has one of the largest train networks in the world with over 13,000 passenger trains and 9,000 freight trains. In the 2022 fiscal year, more than 3.5 billion passenger rides were recorded, up from nearly 1.3 billion in 2021, as per a report. While there has been a steady increase in passenger rides, accidents have also seen an upward trend. The National Crime Records Bureau shows that roughly 260,000 people have lost their lives in train accidents in the past 10 years. It establishes that a vast majority of the railway accident deaths were caused not by major accidents, but because of people either falling off trains or getting run over by them. The records show that such incidents accounted for as much as 70% of railway accident deaths between 2017 and 2021. The recent triple train crash in Balasore has raised questions over the safety of the country's substantial but outdated rail networks. But how did an accident of such a scale unfold? We break it down. The accident involved three trains, two passenger trains going in opposite directions and a goods train. One, Coromandel Express, started from Shalimar railway station in the state of West Bengal and was headed to the southern city of Chennai. Howrah Superfast Express was en route Howrah from Yashwantpur station in Bengaluru and a stationary goods train that was standing idle at Bahanaga Bazaar station. The first train, the 12841 Coromandel Express, was running almost exactly on time and would have crossed Bahanagar Bazaar without stopping at 7 p.m. Instead of going past the goods train on the main line, Coromandel entered the loop, derailed and smashed into the goods train from the rear. Videos from the spot show how Coromandel's locomotive was perched atop the goods train. The Coromandel Express had crashed so hard at a speed of above 100 km per hour that its engine climbed the goods train and some of the compartments packed with passengers derailed. Three of the derailed coaches rolled onto parallel tracks, whiplashing the tail end of the Bengaluru Howrah Superfast Express 12864, crossing the station at the same time from the opposite direction. Char line ka station hai. Iski jo beach ki do lines hai, wo main line hai. Jo ki agar gadi ruk nahi rahi hai, to zada tar usse jaati hai. Aur jo do or line hai, aju baju, alag alag, wo loop line kehlaati hai. जिसमे की हमको अगर गाड़ी को रोकना है तो हम वहां पे उसको ले जाते हैं और उसको वहां रोकते हैं इस दिन इस समय यहां पे दो गाड़ियां खड़ी थी जिनको रोका गया कि ये मेल एक्सप्रेस गाड़ियां जो है जिनको यहां रुकना नहीं है उनको जाने के लिए एकदम क्लियर पाथ में ऑल दैट कुड बी सीन एट द एक्सीडेंट स्पॉट वर डिरेल्ड ट्रेन कोचेस एंड डैमेज्ड ट्रैक्स Rescue teams searching the mangled carriages to pull out survivors and rush them to hospital. Video footage also showed rescuers climbing on trains to find survivors, while passengers called for help and cried next to the wreckage.
Seema Chaudhary and Kanchan Chaudhary kept sobbing and clutching identification cards and pictures of their missing husbands. The two women were at a business centre turned mortuary where bodies had been transferred for identification from the mangled train carriages. हॉस्पिटल बताएंगे हम सब हॉस्पिटल देख लिया कुछ भी नहीं पता चला घूम से जा रहे हैं वहाँ पे जुटी पाया तो पाया नहीं पाया मदद चाहिए जहाँ पे हमको अक्सू तो हमको सो मेरे हस्बैंड चाहिए और कुछ नहीं been running from hospitals to makeshift mortuaries looking for traces of their husbands who were traveling in the fateful trains. This is 20-year-old Bijay Lakshmi. She is still in a state of shock, unable to fully comprehend the extent of the tragedy. Her husband, Gobind Charan Sahu, worked as a plumber in Kolkata. He was supposed to return home, but tragedy struck. Tears rolling down her cheeks, Lakshmi waited for her turn to complete the formalities before receiving compensation for her husband's untimely death. Twenty-five kilometers from the site of the triple train crash is the Fakir Mohan Medical College and Hospital. A cacophony of ambulance sirens outside the hospital announces arrival of more patients, many of whom are critically wounded. The nearest state-run hospital, it's been transformed into a scene of desperation and critical decisions. I was not on duty, other unit's duty was there and we got the message that every doctor has to be here because there is mass casualty and there has been a train accident. So we were expecting a lot of casualties and we needed as much hands as much possible. So all of the doctors rushed to the hospital including the interns, the PGs, the SRs, the professors. Some were brought dead to the hospital while others were gasping for life. Saving as many lives as possible was the only priority. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the accident site. He met injured people who were receiving treatment in the hospital wards. He vowed that those responsible for the horrific accident would be punished.